Sixth graders, this is to help you with question one on CR 21. It says, Jaylene works on an aircraft assembly line where she attaches skin panels with up to four different size diameter rivets. Which list has the rivets listed in order from largest to smallest diameter? Okay, lots of words, but these are just fraction or mixed numbers that we're trying to put in order from largest to smallest. All right, as I look here, I can eliminate that we want to go largest to smallest. So I know 19 is bigger than 18. So anything that starts with 18, I can eliminate. So now I'm looking at these two. So largest to smallest, first ones I'll compare are the ones with the 19s in front, and then I'll worry about comparing the ones with the 18s in front. The easiest way to put fractions in order from largest to smallest or smallest to largest is to find a common denominator. Because once we find a common denominator, we can just compare the numerators. So I'm going to take my ones that are 19s, 19 and 2 thirds and 19 and 3 sevenths, and I'm just going to rewrite both of those with a common denominator. For 3 and 7, the common denominator would be 21. The quickest way to find a common denominator is to just multiply your denominators. So 3 sevenths is how many out of 21? Well, I have to multiply 7 by 3 to get to 21, which means I have to multiply 3 by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Then here, to get from 3 to 21, I multiply 3 by 7, which forces me to multiply 2 by 7. 2 times 7 is 14. So which is larger? This one's definitely larger. So that tells me 19 and 2 thirds is larger than 19 and 3 sevenths. So this is the larger one. Now let's go ahead and check out those 18s. We have 18 and 3 fourths and 18 and 7 eighths. So let's find a common denominator. Oh, the common denominator here would be an 8. You can multiply 8 times 4 and get 32, but I can already see that 8 will be a common denominator. So 7 eighths is still 7 eighths. So if I want to rewrite 3 fourths as some number of eighths, 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 2 is 6. So 18 and 3 fourths is 18 and 6 eighths, 7 eighths is bigger than 6 eighths. So this is the larger. So then we know 18 and 7 eighths is bigger than 18 and 3 fourths. And we do that by finding the common denominator. So it's letter D, going largest to smallest. 19 and 2 thirds is bigger than 19 and 3 sevenths. 18 and 7 eighths is bigger than 18 and 3 fourths. I hope that helps. Make sure you find a common denominator.